Yeah, I was just wondering, I mean, when you're seated, maybe, you know, different organizations, the organic movement, especially, I mean, you do meet uh, some of these brands. Um, do you feel like you have that extra um, motivation to sort of uh, do well in the organic movement because you have such a rich history of uh, founders of the organic movement in your area so that you can sort of bear the torch in terms of how organic is supposed to be done and how, or how organic um, is doing generally? Yeah, I think that history, that foundation is really, really important. Mm -hmm. uh, it keeps us focused on the, the reasons for organic. And the Soil Association is is uh, it's taken some of those principles and it's really applying it beyond organic now. So yeah. one of the things that leads our strategy currently is a wider organisation because we're actually one of the um, lead uh, FSC Forestry Stewardship Council certifiers. We, we certify an area of forest uh, yeah. globally around the sides of the UK. Uh, we're very much involved in delivering not just organic but healthily, freshly prepared food to schools, hospitals, public sector. So our remit is getting bigger. Um, it's becoming more generally uh, around this idea of connecting the dots between uh, climate emergency, yeah. the need to protect nature, and the health of not just uh, us directly as a result of what we eat, but the environment around us. So the climate, nature, health agenda is is you know becoming important. We're in a hurry here. Yeah. We've got 10 <laughs> years to do some radical stuff. So we yeah. can't just talk within the organic bubble. We have to speak more broadly outside that. And, you know, if you're a farmer that wants to be 80% organic, 50% organic, we think organic will always be up there yeah. at the top as the leading cutting edge, leading edge approach. But... We yeah. still want to talk to anyone who has yeah. s something to add in that conversation about our food and farming systems, whether that's agroforestry, uh, people who want to grow more trees on their yeah. land and benefit from horizontal and vertical crops, yeah. or uh, whether they're actually interested in just bringing fresh, unprocessed food to their local community. Yeah. There's yeah. lots of different ways that we can address climate, nature and health. Um, but again, organic is a really, really, really well-established important way to go about that 